Welcome back. In the previous video, I have discussed Umfaswald example and its PEAS description. Link for that video is given in the description below. In this video, I will discuss how can agent find a path from the initial square that is 1, 1 to the square where the gold is present and how come he will come back out of this cave with the gold. This is how the Umfaswald example looks like. The agent is initially present in square 1, 1. There are some squares where the pit is present. Whenever agent falls in this pit, the agent will get die. And there is one square where the umphus is present. Whenever agent enters the square, the umphus will eat the agent and agent will die in this case. And there are some squares where the agent will uh, percept breeze. The meaning of this one is, uh, in the adjacent square, there is a possibility of pit. Whenever uh, agent perceive the stench, there is a possibility of umphus in the adjacent square. Whenever he reaches the square where there is a gold, the agent will perceive the glitter in this case. To sense the breeze, stench, glitter, the wall as well as the scream, the agent has been equipped with uh, five sensors. When the agent is present in the initial square, that is 1, 1, we will not uh, sense any of these. The reason behind this one is, while defining the Umfus world, uh, we have said that the square 1, 1 is the safest square. In 1, 1, the umphus is not present, the pit is not present as well as the gold is also not present. So that's the reason uh, the agent will not uh, perceive the stench, he will not perceive the breeze, he will not perceive the glitter, he will not perceive the bump as well as the scream in this case. The meaning of this one is the adjacent square that is 2, 1 and 1, 2 are the safe squares. So that's the reason we have marked them as OK in this case. Now, what agent can do is, he can select any of these squares and then he can go from 1, 1 to those squares here. Let's assume that the agent has chosen 2, 1. The meaning of this one is, the agent will go from 1, 1 to 2, 1 in this case. So, what we do is, we will mark 1, 1 as the visited here with the help of uh, notation V. And then, currently, the agent is present in square 2, 1 here. When agent is present in uh, square 2, 1, he will sense or perceive the breeze. What is the meaning of this one is, if the agent has perceived breeze in a square, in adjacent square, there is a possibility of pit here. The meaning of this one, in square 3, 1 or 2, 2 or 1, 1, there is a possibility of pit in this case. In 1, 1, there is no possibility because 1, 1 is the safest one. So, we cannot have pit here. But in 3, 1 and 2, 2, there is a possibility of pit in this case. So, that's the reason I have written P question mark here. I'm not saying that there is a pit here. There is a possibility of pit in this case. Now, what agent can do? He cannot go in this direction. That is, he cannot go from 2, 1 to 3, 1 because there is a possibility of pit. If there is a pit, he will fall in that pit and he will get die. Again, he cannot go towards 2, 2 because there is a pit here. So, what he will do is, he has to go back to the initial state that is 1, 1. That is the only possibility in this case. Now, whenever he is present in the initial state, uh, this is how actually it looks like. Again, uh, when he is present in the initial state, as said earlier, he will not uh, perceive stench, breeze, glitter, uh, bump as well as the scream here. The meaning of this one is the adjacent squares are safe here. That is 1, 2 and 2, 1 are safe. Out of that, 2, 1 is already visited. So, there is no use of going towards 2, 1. So, what agent can do? He can go from 1, 1 to 1, 2 in this case. So, when he go to 1, 2, this is how the state will look like. When agent is present in uh, square 1, 2, he will perceive strange. He will not perceive uh, breeze, glitter, bump and scream here. The meaning of this one is, in adjacent square, there is a possibility of umphus. So, what are the adjacent squares? 1, 1. As already said, 1, 1 is the safest one. So, there is no possibility of umphus here. What is the second one? 1, 3. Yes, there is a possibility of umphus in this case. Now, there is one more adjacent square that is 2, 2. There is a possibility of umphus according to this uh, uh, square that is 1, 2. But the agent has already visited 2, 1. In 2, 1, he has perceived only breeze. What is the meaning of breeze? There is a possibility of uh, pit here, but there is no possibility of uh, umphus because he has not sensed stench here. If there is a stench in 2, 1, definitely there will be umphus in 2, 2 also 
because in 2 comma 1 as well as 1 comma 2 stench is present as of now there is no stench in 2 comma 1 so there is no possibility of umphus in what we can say that 2 comma 2 here so what we can do is we can remove this umphus from 2 comma 2 and we will write this one as the safe state in this case so because this is a safe state what agent will do is he will go from square 1 comma 2 to 2 comma 2 in this case and this is how the state will look like and 1 comma 2 is marked as visited here when agent is present in 2 comma 2 again he will not sense anything that is he will not sense stench he will not sense breeze he will not sense glitter he will not sense a bump as well as the scream here the meaning of this one is the adjacent squares are safe here that is 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 3 comma 2 and 2 comma 1 out of that 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 1 are already visited there are two other uh, uh, squares they were not visited he can choose any of those squares right now let's assume that the agent has chosen 2 comma 3 he will go from 2 comma 2 to 2 comma 3 in this case so this is how the state will look like previously he was present in 2 comma 2 now he is present in 2 comma 3 in this case now when agent is present in uh, 2 comma 3 he will uh, perceive stench breeze glitter none and none what is the meaning of none he has not sensed a bump as well as the scream here so the meaning of this stench is in the adjacent square there is a possibility of uh, umphus the meaning of uh, breeze is uh, there is a possibility of uh, pit in the adjacent square now he has sensed the glitter what is the meaning of glitter the meaning of glitter is in this square there is a gold here so that is what the goal state the agent has to reach a square where the gold is present he has reached successfully what he does is he will execute an action called as grab he will grab the gold and then he will follow the path what he has followed uh, to go to this uh, square from initial state in reverse direction and then he will come back to 1 comma 1 when he is present in 1 comma 1 he will execute an action called as climb and then he will come out of this cave here so this is how uh, the agent will go from the initial uh, square that is 1 comma 1 to the square where gold is present and then he will come back from this uh, square to the initial square and then uh, he will uh, come out of the cave in this case i hope the concept of umphus world example is clear in the previous video as said earlier i have discussed uh, PAS description of umphus world example link for that video is given in the description below do follow that video to understand the sensors equipped with respect to agent so that he can perceive the current environment based on that he will take a decision if you like this video do follow and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching